Greetings mortals and welcome back to the darkness or lightness or something of eternity. Something involving black things. So, when last we left off we had just finished off what we thought was the remainder of the temple. But it turned out that that room that had those kings in it led to another room, in addition to an ice hat for Alvaria. Now, this is kind of a dangerous thing to wear around, because I believe... Yeah, th this is... This was worn by someone on the other side during the Saint Wars. Saints Wars. Sure. So I'm not going to want to wear this once I walk outside, I think. But... Hmm. You know, I'll see what I can find. Let's take a look around here. Well, it looks like there's no enemies here. As you step over the circle of candles, you hear a rattling clunk from the wall nearby. A door slides open with a rasping grasp of stone. Oh. Interesting. My eyes are peeled. So we are trapped. Shards of this mirror cling to the re edges of the recess. The candles flicker gently as you approach. There's a gap above the altar lined with broken glass where a mirror may once have stood set to the wall. Candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. So, what's this for? Redemption. They got this whole right for when you come of age. They take you by the hand and you descend through the temple with your eyes covered, and that's supposed to be like a wicked life. They don't tell you where you're going. I was sweating like crazy when I did mine. They take you to the reflecting pool back there, and you're allowed to look at it so you can face your sins. Then you come out into this room and they uncover your eyes again and everything. everyone's here there to greet you, all your friends and family, and it's like you've been redeemed. You light the can your candle and it burns with the others. Never had a feeling better than that my whole life. Candles are still bad. I'm not going to snuff a candle. That seems like a bad idea. I don't know why I would ever... Like, why would I snuff one? Do I have any reason to do that? I mean, aside from the game indicating that that's something that I can do, I don't see any reason why I would want to snuff out one of those candles. I mean, they're magically burning candles, which is really cool, but that doesn't mean that I should make them stop doing that. Anyway, we're gonna... Take a look here. These enemies are dealing electric damage, which is why we're having such difficulties with them. Because we don't have anything that resists electricity. To my knowledge. Yeah, so these will-o'-wisps are a serious concern. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to handle them. I did take them out with a weaker party, so I should be able to do it in theory. It's just I'm trying to figure out yeah. how I'm going to manage it sure. exactly. What? I'm going to go ahead and cast a bless. And sure. Sure. How may I help? Okay, so there's one. There's two. And he's pretty much done. <laughs> actually, I think the way I might have killed them is I might have actually just used Phantom Flames. Hey. He needs to uh, get over here so there we go. So the first Will O Wisp is toast. What? Let's press X so this guy stop attacking. Let's start moving on to this second Will O Wisp. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Shit. No! No! 
bad. Why are these people attacking them? That is not how this is supposed to go. Okay, so we need to knock this one over. How may I help? And since these guys aren't dealing anything that he can deflect anyway, I'm just gonna... So, one more destroyed. Hmm. You can trust me. Whew. So, those are the will of toast. And we've now gotten 62% of the progress done in the bestiary. Oh, let's save this. My eyes are peeled. Parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it is faded. In this time of hardship, we must just have. Eh? What does that say? Must have just no as problem. much faith in ourselves. Okay, so. And we are done. We have completed this dungeon. It is empty now. 100%. And now we can go to uh, another place. So, there's plea. Lots of plants. A? Okay, so let's head to the east. We will, uh... We'll hopefully be able to do our fighting out there without needing... the, uh... I think it was the Black Meadow, right? Black Meadow. Yeah. Alright, so we're head here. We already did Magrand's Fork. And I don't think this place will be too difficult. I got to set my alarm again. Yeah, so we're gonna have these 45 minute alarms. And then we're gonna have sure. hour long eh? actual sessions. So. Alright then. Let's pop him over to a proper defensive okay. setup. All right then. So we've got some trolls here. They're heading back now. So it looks like we might just have to deal with both of these guys simultaneously. No problem. Hey. How may I help? So I'm just gonna start dealing my damage. Just send him in. Ah! How may I help? Okay, so... He's sitting at 81 defense. So, yeah. there's one down. Yeah. 
So how hard is this control hitting anyway? Three? Not bad. Oh shit. That's not good. So, true trolls down. Eh? Not too bad. I just need to make sure that I save his knockdowns until after eh? the uh, thing just turns around. He has the highest uh, chance to hit. I'm actually gonna start doing this and start. Swap him over. Oh, she missed twice. Getting sloppy, Aldrea. There we go. It's gonna go down before anything else. All right then. Save the game. Yeah. You just have the one left, so. Swap to this. Sure. Go ahead and do that now. Pop this. Ha, got him. I'm sure I'm missing with the um, thing a lot, considering that there's so much accuracy added to it or attacks. But all these sources. And it's toast. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Can only certain people. Keeping an eye out. <sighs> okay, so. Swap into defensive set. Yeah. Oh shit. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, he just got shot, which interrupted his movement. Hmm? You know what? I think it's time to go. We're gonna do this. These guys currently engaged. So let's start nuking the center here. So one of them just got chunked, I think. This is the bandit leader. I don't think the bandit leader is who we yeah. want to be attacking next. Hmm? We want to be attacking the scavenger next. Hmm? So he's going to be hitting it too. Hmm. Thing isn't doing the job. Okay. Can now take out the outlaw. I just try to knock and prone. Gonna heal because that'll also give us some accuracy. 
We want to get as much damage out as quickly as possible. Because the sooner we deal our damage, the sooner the damage is eliminated. Whoa, Jesus, man. Calm down. This thing isn't doing the job. She's dead. I didn't realize just how quickly she was going down, man. Yikes. I think the archer might have switched to her or something. Eh? Let's try to... pull these guys to hey. here. What did they just say? So, not a bad haul today. Something about... Willem, but I can't see what's in that. Watch the road, Willem. I'm going to try out a new blade. Wait, what the hell just hit her? That's messed up. She just took a million damage for no... Oh, they're coming from the other side. Don't even slow it down! Oh, okay, so that was really bad. Hmm. So, eh? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and come around from a different direction. So these bandits aren't hostile yet, but they will be. Eh? So... Yeah? One thing that I could do... Let's, let's, he just said for Willem to go over somewhere. I'm gonna check on Willem. I shall be discreet. Who's this? Blazes Willem, you useless bastard! Get her! We'll add her gear to the pile! Okay, so they detected me pretty quick. So that's an entangle effect, it looks like. Oh, Jesus. We just... We just made another friend. Oh. I get the feeling that we're going to need to reload again. I could be wrong, but... Wait, what? So that bandit's dead? Hi? I'm gonna go ahead and use a heal. And I'm gonna try to kill this outlaw. Hmm. 
Oh, this is the one who's flying. How may I help? Try to knock this guy over. So we need to kill this outlaw. And we have successfully done so. Oh come on. Oh come on. <laughs> the troll got back up and sliced her. That was unpleasant. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out this area here. Uh, we need to deal with the trolls that are sitting around before we can hmm? worry about yeah, the, uh, the bandits. Some sort of dragon thing. Quickly and quietly. Aha! So Aldrea did discover something here. Cool, there's a stash here. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's nothing there? Hmm? Seems not that unrealistic. Actually did successfully lock it, knock him down with that. And there we go. One more troll dead. Hmm. One more down. So I think I'm gonna try. Who's this place is Willem, you useless bastard? Get our we're ladder gear to the pile. Her? Holy crap. That is really painful. Okay, so he's dead. There's no way that this is gonna happen, so. That function that happened very differently than it did the first time. All right then. Yikes! So sneak attacks are very unpleasant. Ah. 
So I think that I need to just not turn my back to them. Get the start there. There's still four on me, plus the archers. I got this outlaw first, I guess. What? How may I help? So I'm gonna have her circle around. Yeah, tr have her on these uh, archers. Okay, so we're taking piercing damage, we're taking slashing damage. <sighs> Let's take a look at what armor people are wearing. He is wearing something that has some piercing resistance, but no slashing resistance. We should equip this on somebody. Yeah, this has no piercing resistance at all. And swords deal piercing or slashing, so he doesn't have any damage reduction from that. She has some, but it's not enough to tank with, without the tanking sure. talent. I'd like to have a location that I can take these people to. But I'm not sure that I'm going to have that. This guy down. He does not have any fun stuff to use. No spells. I don't have any spells at all, so. Okay. I think the outlaw is the most durable character that they have. What? So there's one down. This point. Try to knock this guy down, it's probably gonna miss. Yeah. But yeah, I'm taking a boatload of damage here. Wow, that's fast. Okay, so we've got... Oh shit, he's still alive. I thought I killed him. Uh, this is much more of a uh, bursty fight than I'm used to, actually. Hey. Where it's like, they die very quickly and I die very quickly. So, if I can... Okay, so, I'm not gonna pop down this way. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
Hey, this is a hey. oh, place right. that they can't surround me. Eh? How may I help? Okay, so let's try to do it here. Let me just try to knock this one over. Actually, go over here. What? I can attack. Hmm. And let's see what we can do here. This one's badly injured already. Hi. Ooh, Bandit just walked up behind Eldrea. That's not good. Okay, so... She's dead. Apparently the, the other one attacked. Decided to switch over to her. She is really much squishier than I would anticipate. Yeah. I guess it's just that my damage resistance doesn't mean much. Um, with the enemies hitting as hard as these guys do. Yeah. What kind of accuracy they have as well. Whoa. Let's be careful here. Got it. Pin myself in this corner without. So we're not going to expose ourselves like we did the last time. We're just going to fight them nice and slow. How may I help? What? How may I help? Okay. Yeah. How may I help? Hmm. So yeah, we can maybe take out these scavengers super fast. Yes, we can. So we've got an outlaw and a bandit leader. So let's go after the bandit leader okay. next. of the enemies around here first. Yeah. There there might be a location that I can fight these guys that's actually going to be effective. But I just don't know yet. So what are you guys? I don't think I cleared out this area. Because I don't remember seeing these things. What the hell are you little things? Yes. There's two dead. So yeah, these are things that go down very fast. So what the heck are these things? They're gross, but what else? Eh? Vessel flesh. This is the same type of. This is the same item that I found off of the the gray guys before. But yeah, we're definitely in blind territory now, where I have no knowledge of anything that I'm going to be encountering from now on. Yeah. Well, the, the bandits. I do. I. I did fight those guys in the previous one, but aside from those bandits, I don't think that I've done anything else in this area. Which is weird, because I thought that I had done this entire area, but I'm clearly wrong. Because I definitely didn't do those. So I've returned cart bristles with crossbow bolts. Blood stain darken or blood stains darken the cracked wooden slats. So we've 
gained access to the Modmer Bridge. Spare bedroll is laid out in the scent, but there's no other side of Kif. Dead adventurer with a fine warbor bow. Whoa, hello. I shot. Oh boy. That's kind of scary. Of course. Let's have it out! Okay, so. Spear spiderlings. At least they die okay. fast. Hi? I'm actually really surprised that that design choice stayed in the game, because I keep trying to select my party and interacting with random crap in the environment instead, and that's just not a good idea. There we go. So we have two spear spiders. One spear spider line. So let's try to kill this one first, I guess. That was fast. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. It's very clear that certain fights are dramatically um, harder than others in these areas. And I think that that temple is harder than this location is. The temple that I just came from. The hardest thing here thus far has been those bandits. And they're going to be manageable, it's just a matter of finding the appropriate place to fight them. But I'll be able to handle them. Got a burned lady. Oh, we got more of this stuff. That is so many of these things. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so now is the point where we start making it explode. Quick and easy. There we go. Hmm. This this guy just goes to town on these with all those AOEs he has. Ooh. Fulvano's boots, plus one constitution. Though never as famed as he would claim, we already saw that part. This pair of boots is said to have belonged to Fulvano, the initials burned onto the letter that seem to bear that out. Fulvano is very particular about his boots, for they had to endure a great deal of use, and they were constructed to be as hardy as their wearer. And... Let's take a look. Done with row. So let's give that to her. Yeah. Increasing her constitution actually increased her current hit points. Interestingly enough. And I'm actually going to turn on fast mode. I didn't do this before. I didn't do the searching stuff. Look at this. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that we're always doing this. So camping supplies, 
Rites of Walking Shadows, and Akra. Yep. So, we also need to head back over this way to this destroyed cart. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything at the destroyed cart. Just making sure. So, we're going to save this. And we can turn off that uh, search mode, I think. Keeping an eye out. So maybe we should just travel around in search mode instead. It's slower, but that's okay. It's faster than... Whoa! Jesus. That's... Unpleasant. Hi? What? No problem. Chunk. That's pretty awesome. Margaret's fire casts light in dark places. Did I check the east side? I don't think I checked east yet. Boom! Oh, we can now go to Cade Noir. The bones feels hard as stone, yet surprisingly light. Makes sense. Can't have a heavy dragon. They are flying animals. So now we're going to just pop over here. Actually, I don't want to attack with him. Not yet. There we go. Yeah. No. I want to get that free attack. How may I help? Hmm. No problem. Got it. Got it. Let's burn this away. There we go. So we've got plus eye of accuracy on all of them. It's only gonna be prone for another second or so, unfortunately. That's slow. And there we go. Durant sets it for 12, interrupting it and killing it. Fortunately, we're not gonna get any more experience for trolls. Yeah. But soon we'll be finished with this entire area. We still have to deal with the uh, yeah. bangers first. But the bandits. Okay, here we go. Let's go. 
not good. There we go. Actually gonna have him swap to this, drop out of this, try and get a hit on him. And unfortunately that did not go off. Yeah, that I wanted. Oh! Apparently we did still have some B-Siri left on the Forest Troll. So we just finished up the Forest Troll entry. Yeah. Sure. There's a lesson to be taught. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Rare crits it for 19 damage. Goodbye, troll. What's up, buddy? No problem. Bum, bum, bum. So this looks like a bigger version of a troll. No problem. No problem. Hi? Yeah. So the thing's only prone for like a second. After us. Oh shit, he's looking at her. Not allowed. Oh, right, it's doing crushing damage. Of course, I just realized that. So I have the completely wrong we uh, armor setup for fighting this. Also, just got a crit. I think it's Chunker. So, this gives 5 crushing resistance. We'll equip this. Unfortunately, I think that 5 is the maximum we can get for crushing. Oh no, it isn't! We have this Brigandine. Nice. Perfect. Oops. So this Brigandine is 13 crush resistance, so he will be able to tank this <laughs> thing like a champ. Hey. Oh, all right then. And Aldrea will really have to just hey. not get attacked. Eh? One thing that I do like in this game is that you don't you never feel like the enemy just gets a lucky crit. Like crits in this game are not based off of Well, they, obviously because you have die rolls, everything is based oh. off of luck. All right then. But to a large degree, if something's critting you, it's yes. because it's a better attacker than you are a defender. Hmm? And it means that you are taking damage on a character that probably shouldn't be taking damage. I just really like it. The whole system 
works really well for me. Eh? Like it does what I like systems to do, which is it rewards you for making sure that the right things are happening to the right people. So I managed to knock her down, and I did not manage to do the reverse. Look at that. Oh, nice. Aldrea has left the party. <laughs> it's interesting, because the game over doesn't happen instantly. Like, it's sort of interesting how... Eh? I don't know if you get a game over if the main character dies. I assume you do. It would be kind of hilarious if you didn't. Hmm. Like if the main character dying didn't actually result in a game to over. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how I'm going to manage to fight this thing without using Aldrea. Kind of stuck over here. So, I'm gonna have him use this. I can try to knock it over again. Okay, so it's prone. I'm gonna hit it one more time. I'm gonna hit it one more time. I'm just gonna pull out with her. And it's. Yeah, it turned out to. to attack him. Yeah, I think that we're just gonna have to go crazy with the knockouts. And I shouldn't have actually wasted that knockdown there. That's not good. I couldn't pull out before it dealt the uh, knockdown, presumably because it was. Uh... I'm actually surprised at how difficult I'm. Wait, what? It's not badly injured. Why? Sure. This thing is uninjured. Wait, what? No problem. No. Did the game get confused about why is it still saying that it's? A... No, okay, that's just the tool tip, no because I haven't injured both of them, that's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. I didn't have any difficulties with these guys when I was fighting them the last time. I wonder why that is. Okay, so we'll just get in here. Do as much damage as we can. Got it. The other thing that I could do... Yeah, I'm gonna save Eldrea's knockdown. Did it just turn on her? Yes, it did. So I'm gonna save this until now, and then we're gonna knock him over. Or we're not gonna knock him over, he's gonna knock her over and then kill her. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. Wait. <laughs> just two shot. Boom, boom. First shot knocks her down, and then the second shot kills her. And if I try to run okay. away while he's doing the knockdown, what's going to happen is he's going to hit me, and that's actually going to root me in place, and then he's going to one-shot me after that. I think I need a... Uh, 
I, well, actually, there's no defensive setup that's going to help me much against this guy. The only thing that would help me is to actually be out of range. But I don't have any um, weapons like that. I don't have a uh, spear. Or a spear a, um, you'd think that a spear would be a reach weapon, but it's not considered to be a reach weapon for some reason. For some reason, a spear isn't a reach weapon, but a staff is? Odd, to say the least. A staff is not a reach weapon compared to a spear. A spear requires mm -hmm. that you just be able to poke them with the very end of it. A staff requires that you be able to actually put force behind the blow. No problem. Okay, so let's just go Francis! after this guy. So, I'm not going to use... Did he just turn? Yes. We're going to try and knock him over. He's going to swap. We successfully knocked him over. And... Successfully knocked him over again. He's now prone for 0.6 seconds, which is long enough for me to get out of the fight. Try to knock him over. Whoa. Hmm. Who are you going after, dude? Oh my goodness. Got him. He really, really wants her dead. Or at the very least knocked down. How may I help? What? Hey. And then he's dead. Yeah, I needed to swap him back to his defensive setup. Oh, wow, this thing is really rough. Okay, well, I actually ran out of time several attempts ago, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to come back to this uh, thing the next uh, video, and hopefully we'll figure out a way to deal with it. Part of the problem is that she's sitting at half-life, so two hits kills her outright. Hey. But let's save the game, and that's going to be it for now.